We're going to stay with food for a minute here, but a uh, different, uh, less of a success story. Rat falls from ceiling onto customer's table at Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> now, there's an image. There's a picture of this, Will. So uh, go ahead and just load that baby right up. An unwanted guest surprised the woman at Buffalo Wild Wings. Look at that, Jack. You see? Take a look at that. Now, imagine that's you. You're eating. And uh, this is what you happen to see. Falls down. Perfect. It's in perfect shape. Tail hanging over the edge of the table. And you're about to order. You hear something from above on the ceiling. And then this little guy drops down. Uh, would you still be hungry after that, Jack? No, you wouldn't. The uh, customer says it was disgusting. It was still alive. Its heart was still beating. Looks, wow. Looks dead there. It looks dead to me, but I'm guessing maybe it had eaten some poison or something. It was barely hanging on. And uh, it just dove down to its death. I don't really know. Uh, I heard a noise, and we all looked up, and down came the rat. <laughs> Norman told KTRK TV. The restaurant's manager quickly scooped up the rat with two plates and placed it in a bag. Norman's lunch was compensated. <laughs> so he took it. I like that he picked it up with plates. It's kind of weird. They, they don't have gloves? Like, why do you have to pick it up with plates? Because then you got to eat off the plates. <laughs> I don't know. I just it just would be a weird visual. Maybe plates were nearby. It was the fastest way to get this rat uh, up out of there. Anyway, Buffalo Wild Wing comes out. They say the isolated incident at the Westchester area Buffalo Wild Wings in Los Angeles yesterday was unfortunate. We hold Buffalo Wild Wings to the highest operating standards and promptly closed the restaurant for proper remediation, cleaning, and sanitization. Apparently, they have uh, an A rating from the city department of public health. So can I just, I know this is gross. I realize this is gross, but can I just say like, man, this stuff is bound to happen. It, you, a rat got in the ceiling. I'm, it's different if the place is infested, but like if a rat gets into your building, is it, did you do anything wrong or is it just constantly a possibility? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you deal in food. It's gross. Go behind any restaurant. Go to the garbage. Go to Spadina. Go behind all the restaurants there where the trash cans are. I mean, it's just kind of the nature of the thing. You have food. You have food waste. Guess what? You got rodents, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm not saying I'm happy about it. I'm not saying it would make me hungry to have this rat drop down while I'm about to eat. I would... Uh, I would be a lot like uh, this individual here, Norman, uh, who, when the lunch was compensated. I'd be getting the lunch compensated, Will. If that, you'd move tables. Yeah, I hope you'd move tables. But as far as being surprised at, I don't find it to be all that shocking. Weirdly enough, this doesn't like blow my mind. Now, remember that story of the rat in the, in the, in the bath on Spadina? The rat was in the window bathing itself in the fountain. <laughs> Do you remember, this? you remember this? No, 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 not that, not that rat. That rat's unbelievable. That's not an actual rat, though. Which that was a different story, the shower rat. No, no, no. I need you to say rat, restaurant, Spadina, window. That's what we're looking for here. Absolutely. Rats feast at Dumpling House. Yeah, that one right there, 2008. Oh, that's a different one. But they're right in the window. So that's another one. Look, if they're right in the window of your store and they're eating on the, on the countertop, like then there's no excuse. They didn't fall from the ceiling. It's not isolated incident. But this isn't the one that I wanted. Oh, yeah, Happy 7? No, 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 that's not it either. Wow, there's been a lot of these. Yeah, try that one. <laughs> October 9th, restaurant closed after rat spied. Yeah, try that one. <laughs> Keep going down. Happy 7? Oh, man, uh, I don't know. There's... It turns out on Spadina, there's been a number of situations uh, like this. So, was it New Ho King? Yeah, maybe it was New Ho King. Try to put New Ho King in there real quick. King? Yeah, New Ho King. I mean, I've eaten there as well. Scroll it. 
popular restaurant reopens after rats care. Oh, that was in 2018. That's recent. Uh, well, anyway, look, this is a common thing. Is what This is a point I'm trying to get to. We're not going to find this particular image. There's a funny rat. He was, he, was in the, he, he was in the front of a Chinese restaurant inside of the fountain. He was just bathing himself. And, and he, there was a crowd around him on the street watching before the news, before it hit the news. And then the place had to get shut down, even though prior to that, it had clearance from the, the licensing body, public health and whatnot. So look, it's just, a, there's degrees to it. Nobody wants to eat a place that's infested, but you can't keep these guys away. I mean, I'm not saying it's appetizing to me. I'm just saying you can't keep these guys away.